Welcome to this webcast of how to use Office 2013 to do a mail merge. I've got a couple of files on my desktop here already. One is a uh, document, a Word document that's a parent letter, and the other is my data source. Those are two elements you need in order to perform a mail merge. To begin with, you have to have a data source. My data source was created in Excel. I'll open this so you can see it. Keep in mind you can pause this video at any time to uh, check out the different elements I'm using so that you can create them yourself and follow along later. You see here that uh, I have in my title row here, my header row, I have the title, parent last name, student first name, student last name, address, city, state, zip, behavior, consequence, and average. These are just the fields I'm using today for this example. You can always add more fields by just creating more uh, field headings over here and then adding the data to your database. But anyway, this is my database to begin with. I have saved it as an Excel spreadsheet on my desktop, so I will close that now, and I'll go to my letter. This will be a sample letter that I have already created in Word, and what I plan to do is take these words in all caps and replace them with information from my database. So let's get started. To begin with, You'll want to click on your mailings menu at the top of the page in Word. And from mailings, click on start mail merge. And just to make it simpler, uh, you could work from left to right across these buttons. We're going to come right down and use the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So by clicking that, you'll see it opens a mail merge pane on the right side of the screen. Because we are working with a letter, we will leave the default here as letters. That is step one of six. Our next step starting the document. Again, we'll keep the default because we already have the letter ready to go, so we're going to use the current document. Our next step will be to select recipients. So we'll click this, and again, we've been keeping a, a track record so far of keeping the defaults. We'll continue that and use an existing list. The list I use will be the list that I showed you earlier that I created in the Excel spreadsheet. So because I'm going to use an existing list, I will click Browse, and before I do this, I want you to notice these buttons up here are all grayed out because there's no data source associated with this letter. After we associate the data source, you'll see these buttons come to life. So we will click Browse. I will go to my desktop. And there is my database, My Students. Click Open. I have one sheet in my database that contains my data. If you're using an earlier version of Excel, you may show three sheets, but nine out of ten times, your data will be in that first sheet. Click OK. It gives a preview here of all of my recipients or my, uh, my different records in that database. You see here's my header row again with that information, everything from title uh, to the rest of the information. I also have check marks here if I wanted to exclude folks from this letter. I could deselect them by taking the check mark out of the box. I want to keep them all, so I'll keep them all checked. We'll click OK. And now you notice these buttons up top are, are active. They are highlighted. Well, we've completed step three of six by selecting the recipients. Next it says to write your letter. We've already written the letter, so we're done. We won't have to use any of these blocks, address blocks, reading lines, electronic postage, or anything like that. We're going to just go ahead now and start replacing this text in caps with these merge fields here. So the first thing I'll do, I will double click the word parent to select it. And then where it says insert merge field, because I have a field for a title and the parent last name, I'm going to put both fields in there. So I'll start by clicking title, and that replaced the word parent because I had it selected. Very important, next I will click space on my space bar so that I'll have a space between the title and the next merge field, which will be the parent last name. Coming down now to student, I'll double click the word student, come back up to insert merge field, insert the student first name. The word behavior, I will double click, insert the merge field for behavior. 
I'll come back, double click student as I did earlier, and replace it with student first name. Double click. Oh, I see I've left some of these. You see, I'm I'm forgetting my formatting. I need to put spaces between these fields and the next word, or else my words will all run together. It looks like I will have forgotten to put in spaces. And for consequence, I will insert the merge field for consequence. I don't need a space there because between the field, the next element is a period, so there's no space between the word and a period. Again, double click student, insert student first name, put my space in, double click student, insert merge field student first name, in space again. And then my last field, average, insert merge field, average, insert my space. So I have completed inserting the fields into my form letter. Next I will preview my letter by clicking here. And so I see a preview. This is what my letter would look like if I went ahead and merged it. You see the title is Mr. and Mrs. Parent last name was Walker. Everywhere where the word student was, or the field student, it is now inserted the student's first name, Chuck in this case. There's the behavior, attentive. Here is the consequence, a homework pass. And there is the average of 88. I'm now going to complete the merge because everything looks great. If here you had a problem with either the formatting or something else, you could just come back to previous, go back a step, and make any corrections in the letter. But everything looks good here. So I will continue with uh, the next step to complete the merge. And I have the option now to either print or edit individual letters. I rarely send something straight to the printer. I had rather click on this edit individual letters so that it will create the letters so that I can review them before printing. So I will click edit individual letters. I want to merge all records. Okay. Now what this does is this creates another Word document for me. You may have noticed that down here in the taskbar. I now have two Word documents open. One document that is, this was actually the, the merged document that I was working on. And uh, the way I can tell the difference, this one you see in the status bar, it shows page one of one because the merged document was only one page long. My next document here, you'll see page one of five. I have five pages in the final merged document. And as I scroll through these to take a look at these, you see there's, there's my first letter. Dear Mr. Floyd, your child Andy was very disrespectful in class today. Moving on to the next page. Dear Ms. Moore, your child Jessica was very helpful in class today. And so forth and so on. Each of the letters is unique based on the information that was drawn from the database field. So that's all there is to it to create a mail merge letter in Office 2013.